Uh-oh, we might have a problem here. Something interesting in the story just happened. What is this nonsense? So was Karnan buried under the ice too? There's nothing here. Let's check the overworld and see if there's another Karnan mission. No, that's that desert that we still have to go after. Well, where did we first run into Karnan? I feel, it was, I'm pretty sure it was here. Because we haven't unlocked the skill, so we're definitely not done with her yet. Hmm. And the only thing that's popping up here is to capture the fortress. Then here's the Witch King. There's nothing here, so... We didn't unlock our skills, so... Well, whatever. To defend this. Let's not worry about that right now, though. Let's take over this fortress. Hold on, that's gonna really bother me. I just want to double check that we didn't unlock a skill. I didn't see it pop up, but maybe I just missed it. No, we didn't. She was in the forest. The forest was in Camelot. So let's double check Camelot. This is Camelot right here, and there's nothing popping up for her. Okay, we'll just go ahead and continue on. We'll work on this fortress, and if something pops up, we'll go after it. Okay, so we have to start going after war chiefs now. Well, we haven't captured this bodyguard yet, so let, we can kill him, but we can't capture him. We haven't captured either one of these guys. Both of them can be captured, so let's go kill this fucker. Well, oh, hold on. Who's the closest? Let's deal with this guy. Alright, back to bodyguard hunting. Hmm. Said protecting the war chief, which seemed odd to me, so I guess we won't be worrying about him for now. So let's go after Horza. Just double check. Okay, so we have to kill this one, capture this one. Fireproof and beastproof, power craze, enraged by flies, ranged attacks, executions, and stealth attacks, but let's get ourselves an advantage and let the grog out. Oh, 
And our focus is up. It's going for another round. Nope, they know I'm here. It didn't work. You will not see me again. I will cut you down and drag your battered corpse to the gates of Minas Tirith. Then all the people of Gondor will know shame. Oh, I forgot I shamed you earlier. Oh shit, another one. I caught this dude and thought you'd like to shake his treasure loose. Well, perfect timing. We got back up now. Let's bring some spiders for good measure. Not let me capture him for some reason. Another court for the fire. Yeah, it just won't work. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to kill him then. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to capture him. Well, maybe the sword's better. Nope, get rid of it. Well, we've got over 20,000 Mirian now. That'll help when we go to the fight pits. So a little disappointed that we haven't finished the Karnan stuff, because I would really like to be able to summon a Drake. Complete Bruise quests. Wow, so we're not even done with Bruise. That's actually good news, because I like Bruise. I'm just going to keep saving the skill points right now. Because I basically have nothing to use at this point. Okay, so there's one bodyguard out. So he's got a second one we need to deal with, though. This guy. But the second one is under our control, right? No, he's not, but he's... To face this war chief, draw out his war chief in a confrontation. Okay. So best case scenario, we can capture this guy while we're fighting the other war chief, but it looks like we may be going one on one with this guy. But I suppose we'll find out soon enough. So this orc is pretty powerful. Hopefully this won't go poorly. I think he's level 41. Well, I suppose that's only four levels higher than we are right now. We've leveled up quite a bit recently. Fuck. 
We gotta kill these orcs before we can fast travel out of here. Let's just get to some high ground so we can bail. Let's give the fast travel another try. There we go. By cowards. Sickly and beast fodder. Well, well, well. Let's make sure that we have the poison mighty shot on, which we do from the looks of it. Yes, we do. Okay, this is perfect. Look at all these caragors we can let out. left in the well, pink skin. Do you? You can defy death all you want, it's not going to change the fact that I'm still going to kill you. got a new ring but it's garbage more mm. well hold on we can still upgrade this one here okay yeah definitely garbage okay so this guy should have no bodyguards right no he's still got one but we're gonna have to actually face him directly while we're dealing with the war chief so let's go after this war chief get him dealt with God, he's inside the fortress. This could be a problem.
This fortress is a house of pain. It will what? still fall. Oh, there's spikes. We're gonna have to really think about that when we actually assault the fortress. If we can't get rid of those spikes, that is. Mortally sickly, really. One poison shot will kill him. Which so one mighty shot with the poison arrow, he's dead. Easy. This war chief relies on his alarm system. Let it sound, and we will rely on him to arrive just where we want him. So kill twenty enemies. All right. Easy enough. Kill you then. Let's get over there, hit him with the mighty shot, and we'll be done. Oh, look at that health drain. Okay, there's the spiked walls. Okay, the spiked walls are out. Now his bodyguard, I think he's terrified, so we can capture him here. Yes, he is. Nope. No, you don't. Come here. Alright, get out of here. Let's check this new armor. Kill three enemies while poisoned. Well, I'm not going to try to go out of my way to get poisoned. But even if we don't get the unlock, we have a 21% chance that a critical hit applies poison. Here's the question. Is that honestly better than the legendary gear we have on right now? Not really, no. We're... God, that is a big boost to our maximum health, though. We really haven't been dying lately, though, so let's not worry about it. Let's just stick with the legendary gear. Now, let's take a look at the army. So we've got one war chief dealt with. We've got this bodyguard here for this guy. But we do have backup, so let's just, since the war chief is so close, we'll take him out and try to capture his bodyguard if we can.
You know what? If I were to name this fortress, I would call it Bowser's Castle because that's exactly what it fucking is. It's Bowser's Castle from Mario. Or it could be Ganondorf's. Come to think of it, yeah, this could be Ganondorf's Castle from Zelda. Huh. All right, big guy, what do you got? You're frostproof, immune to curse, and beastproof. Enraged by weakness. You're gonna have a flame weapon and hunters with you. You're dazed by stealth, range, executions, and fire. All right, this guy won't be too bad. This war chief rewards his orcs with grog. We shall give them something stronger. Three Shadow Strike kills and Poison Three Grog Barrels. <laughs> wow, what a cakewalk. Shadow Strike kills are my specialty, so... So can we poison the barrels from long range? Oh, we can. Okay, so this is going to be really easy. So this will be great because we can stay hidden the entire time. We never have to get ourselves into a bad position to get this done. Poison CGBs are out. I hope you don't think you're going anywhere. You're mine. Oh, good betrayal. Good betrayal there. What war chief wants to get their ass kicked next? Well, we've already got two bodyguards in place here. So let's go for Amug the Tongue. Did I read that right? Okay then. Alright buddy, don't get killed while I'm heading over there. Fast travel? Yes. Okay, so he's poison proof, no stealth, enraged by mortal wounds. Okay, so he's going to be enraged, guaranteed. 
He's going to have warriors with him. Vulnerable to bees, so our grog will be effective here. Range, execution, and fire. Okay, easy enough. Hey! Look here, boys. The prey's had enough and has come for a butchering. You die now, boss! Yep, there's the enrage. Oh, good shit, boys. These war chiefs are dropping like flies. I love it. Okay, fire spouts are down. We are very quickly weakening this fortress. No, not worth it. Ditch it. Rock. Okay, two war chiefs to go. We've got one bodyguard in place here. None here. How far away is this bodyguard? Oh, he's a legendary, though. I'm gonna want to kill him to get his gear. This guy, we'll just, yeah, let's, okay, so, I mean, the bodyguard's going to get terrified and run. So let's kill the war chief and then mind control the bodyguard, and then we'll go after this last guy. We'll end up killing his bodyguard to finish it off. So let's just go for him directly instead of worrying about the second bodyguard. Looks like it's back in the fortress, too. Well, I was worried about it last time, but it didn't really seem to be that big of a problem. So hopefully it won't be a big problem this time. So he's going to be beast proof, enraged by mortal wounds, so he's going to get enraged, of course. Going to have hunters with him. Fear Morga flies. He's soft headed, so headshots will be very useful. Okay. Let's knock this fucker out, too. Show this war chief the uselessness of his defenses by killing his orcs before they can sound the alarm. Two brutalized kills. And kill 10 enemies without raising the alarm. So let's get our brutalizes done first. Should be clear. I don't think anybody's going after the alarm. I don't know if I've made this clear yet, but I really love Shadow Strike.
これくらいもはやおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおキャッチョンもう一度、キャッチョンもう一度、キャッチョンもう一度、キャッチョンもう一度、キャッOkay, defender hosts are now disabled. And the bodyguard is terrified. You're coming with me. Dagger, see if it's any better. It is substantially better. So we have to use a quick throw to hit a fleeing enemy. That's very easy. So all we have to do to get that is use one brutalized kill, and that's going to guarantee that an enemy will flee, and then just throw one dagger. It's a hammer, I don't care. I hate the fucking hammers in this game. Okay. So we've only got one war chief to knock out before we go to the fight pits. This guy. So we're gonna go kill his bodyguard. <laughs> 